Just hours ago, former President Donald Trump entered a not guilty plea to charges in Fulton County. 11 Lives Faith Jesse is following all of the latest developments in the case for us, Faith. So a lot of moving parts here, folks. With President Trump waiving his arraignment, it means that he will not travel to Atlanta next Wednesday. So let's run down of all of today's developments, what they mean for this Georgia election interference case. So starting with the former president. Originally, former President Trump was ordered to appear in court next week, September 6th. That was on Wednesday to hear the charges against him and enter a plea. So his attorneys filed a motion to skip that. This is common. Instead, they just entered a non not guilty plea on his behalf. They also asked the judge to sever his case. So if approved, this would mean that the former president is tried separately from his 18 other co-defendants. Also today, Scott, excuse me, Judge Scott McAfee ruled that there will be cameras in the courtroom. They'll be setting up a YouTube feed for all of the proceedings. So unlike Mr. Trump's other cases, this one will be broadcasted live. Attorney Jenna Ellis also waived her first appearance this afternoon, entering a not guilty plea. We expect several others to do that. 14 defendants in this case can choose to do so until Monday. Otherwise, they'll have to show up in court for their arraignments next Wednesday.